Hey, Jason Deal, Adidas. I talked about this yesterday and again, it didn't show up on the screen because my screen is bullshit. But Jason Deal, the skater that I most love, someone that I followed since Photo Simpsons days, or maybe even before previously. I don't know. But anyway, a person that I love that I've met a couple times um, myself, one of my skateboarding and styling heroes, has got his own Adidas collaboration, which is strange because he was previously on Vans and we heard he was an Adidas and someone told you he was got dropped, but then he didn't get dropped. And now he's still an Adidas and now he's got an Adidas shoe, but it's not fucking also awesome. Mr. Jason Deal shoe. Maybe he's trying to separate them both because he wants to, I don't know, but he's got his own Jason Deal shoe, um, SB or skateboard. Is it a skateboarding? Is it a skateboarding shoe or is it just a must be a skateboarding shoe, right? Is it either a skateboarding or is it just an Adidas inline shoe? Hmm, interesting, right? If, if it's an Adidas inline shoe, what does that mean for him? Does that mean he's now turned into like a quote unquote tastemaker influencer guy? What does that have? What happens there anyway? It doesn't matter. Article from Hype Beast that says he's got a new Samba. This is the teaser video which I showed you the other day. No, I don't want to make you guys better. Go away. I hate these fucking surveys. Leave me alone. Um, so it's a video that kind of teases it. You see Jason Dill working in his apartment as per usual, sticking up paintings on the wall, drawing on the floor. For some reason, he doesn't have a table. I don't know why. I think he doesn't like using tables. Just a stone thing. Collages everywhere. Doing his thing. Then it cuts to some dude running. There's speculation whether or not it's actually him or somebody else. Because they're saying, surely Jason Dill can't play football. Or maybe his limbs don't move the same way. I'm not too sure if it is. But whoever the person is has their hood up the entire time. So maybe it isn't Jason Deal. But yeah, same uniform on, same outfit on a scrambler, little one. And then here's him on a skateboard. Oh, I love Jason Deal. He's so cool looking. Anyway, so that was a video that I showed you guys yesterday. Looked really cool. Wasn't that many details regarding the release of the actual shoe. Uh, apart from the date, which is January, June 15th, sorry. But now we have official images of the actual trainer and when it's going to come out. So these are the official images I've got here for you guys. Um, essentially a really clean adidas samba there's not much on it about whether or not it's a skateboarding shoe or whether or not it's an actual inline adidas originals trainer i'm not too sure might have to read the description even though the description doesn't say that much to the video is a, da, 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 da. it doesn't say if it's an adidas skateboarding or not i don't think so i just think it's an adidas normally but the shoe is awesome man so here it is adidas Sam jason the adidas samba it's essentially a white and black adidas um all white with black stripes and a black heel tab and Dale written in his kind of usual um, font on the tip, on the so on the tongue in gold font. And it's got a translucent sole at the bottom here, which is really nice. At first I thought it was gum, which would have been perfect. Um, maybe a flip on that. Maybe if they do another colorway that's black and white with a gum sole, that would look beautiful. Or maybe with a translucent sole. That, that's that's the same sole that Palace used on their first Ada skateboarding shoe, right? Do you remember that first, that first shoe that Palace did? I'm sure it was translucent as well, right? Adidas Palace. Um, is it Palace Pro? Maybe it's that one. It's the first one they did back in the day. Yeah, it was trans. Yeah, it was translucent. Okay, maybe not the first one, but this one was translucent. Oh, the Chewy one was translucent. So, do, do, do you guys remember this? So this that. Oh, get off here. That one. Do you remember that one? So there's this one that was uh, translucent. Then there was this one, the Chewy Adidas Chewy shoe. And there was, and then there was this one I'm, I'm thinking about. It was this one that was that was so, no, not translucent it's gum. Can you get translucent gum sole? Wonder if you could, but that's basically what I was thinking of. But it's not the same shoe, but anyway. Um, really nice model Adidas Samba again. For those of you guys who are not, you know, brand loyal and don't mind wearing another shoe, I think this is perfect for me. Again, I'm not sure if my wide foot will fit in them, but I'll try. They look incredible. They look really cool with, um, again, skated in or just in general clothes. Um, we'd like to see someone like an Alex Olsen try them out. I'm not sure if is, is Alex Olsen still signed to Nike SB. It would be cool to see him swagging these out, skating and shit. Um, but yeah, these look fucking incredible. Out June 15th, one of my favorite shoes to drop maybe this year. Really clean, really well done. Again, the story around Jason Dill and the shoes that he wears. He loves to wear indoor soccer shoes, same like Gino and all those kind of dudes. They always kind of pick in really interesting models to wear. Alex Olsen's the same sort of thing he's always wearing kind of indoor um soccer shoes maybe because of the trip maybe because of the grip and the tread on the bottom but he maybe likes it a bit more sticky some skaters like things a little bit like they slip off a little bit more and he might like a little bit more of a stick on them um no it's not vulcan is it vulcanized is that vulcanized when the show comes over 
What's a vulcanizer? Is that vulcanizer? So I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, ridiculously nice shoe. Um, usually the samba comes with the short tongue and the long tongue, right? I'm pretty sure they had the tongue that kind of pops over like a football boot. I'm pretty sure, eh? essentially. But yeah, um, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of these. I think they look really cool. I'm not sure. That, I'm, I'm hopefully that leather's really nice and really luxe looking and not like the cheapy, shitty um, Adidas. I mean, shitty kind of Nike Air Force One leather that I have on mine, right? That kind of shitty leather that kind of thrusts up after a while. Hopefully some nice kind of leather. And again, it'll be cool to see other colors of these coming out soon too. But yeah, June fifteenth, Adidas and Jason Deal coming together, joining forces, and delivering on a shoe that we all knew we wanted, even though we didn't know we wanted it. It's fucking beautiful, isn't it? I love it, man. Absolutely love, 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 love.